What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I wanted to talk about Rocket really quick. This is something that's a lot different than uh, um, other things that may look like a pump and dump um, because this does truly look like a pump and dump um, depending on how you actually look at it. So people are saying that Rocket is done and it's not gonna come back, it's not gonna look great. Um, I do admit that I probably got in at a higher price than where I should have gotten in. I thought that it was going to push at the lowest at the lowest would be $30. That's where I thought it was gonna be. But with this down market, it definitely um, kind of strengthened up that, that loss that you've seen there. So before I get into this, please hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. And make sure that you get your free stocks with Weeble down below. Don't forget to check out some of my NFTs that I have down there. I have like five NFTs. There's three that I wanted to focus on, but there's two other ones that if you wanna uh, check out as well, you can definitely check out. But uh, yeah, I wanted to see how all of that stuff works out. But we wanted to talk about Rocket in this video because Rocket is very interesting to me and people think of it as a distraction to AMC and GME. I think it's just something that adds on to it, adds fuel to the fire. And um, you can see that the chart, the way that it looks, it looks like a true like pump and dump. But the thing about uh, Rocket, it, it had an IPO recently, right? So the IPO I believe was in what, August um, of 2020. So it wasn't too long ago to where it basically started at that like lower tier to where it, where, where it is now. So like 19 or where it was then, $19. And then shot up to like $30 or so, then went back down to $19 and stayed around that area. Did have a couple of spikes where people still are pretty interested in it. Um, and then ended up before the spike around that $18 mark, right? Then you started to see a little bit of increase, a little bit of a spike. Um, why are you seeing this spike? Because you have hedge funds that are shorting it, right? That's where you're gonna see a little bit of a decrease, but you have hedge funds that are shorting it, but you also have people seeing that hedge funds are actually shorting this position in a, a massive way. Um, so this is where people start to get interested in these things. Once they start to short these positions, yes, it could take away from the hype of AMC and GME, but it's not something that will physically take everything away. You can see that the volume wasn't there on Friday. It just wasn't where it was before. You did have pretty good volume um, the days before that. So you look at this day, let's look at um, this day right here. We had 368 million shares of volume on this day. And this was um, March the 2nd. Um, a lot of people called this out on March the 2nd in the pre-market. And I was just like, this is moving up too fast and I didn't know the details behind it. Nobody let me knew, let me know that there was um, uh, short interest and or there was high short interest. There was also a high amount of shorted shares. Nobody let me know about that. I didn't actually check into all that stuff. I just thought it was more of a pump and dump type of thing because it was pumping. So that's my fault for not looking into it. People were saying something about Reddit actually pushing this as well. And I got a little bit interested to see exactly what it did, but Throughout the day, as that day went on, let me go to that day. Um, it was a couple days ago, so let me look at five days here. You're gonna see that as you look at that day, I was take, I was keeping an eye out on it. I said, what was going on here? Oh, well, it looks like it's nothing. You didn't see really much movement in the beginning of the day. I was like, it's nothing. But then towards the end of the day, well, not the end of the day, towards the middle of the day, around lunchtime, it, it started to really push up, skyrocket, right? People were really getting into this. You've seen a ton of volume go through, right? 6 million, 6.8 million, 8.4 million, 8.4 million. You've seen so many shares of volume per uh, five minutes that you've seen here when you were looking at here and it was less than a million. Um, and that's obviously seeing that, seeing the volume increase is a true indicator to what's actually happening here. And it's gonna continue to push. So if I would have actually seen this, which I didn't because I was working at the time, then I probably would have gotten in somewhere around as I seen this volume increase to the substantial level. Look, all you need is one candlestick. The volume increase indicates that we're gonna see a, a really good push. And um, I, I didn't see it because I wasn't paying attention to it, but it did end up pushing up to $45, which is absolutely crazy. And then even pushed up to $48 in the, in the after hours market. Now, as soon as it hit that point, it started to sell off. It started to um, really sell off. You did see some recovery points, which is a good, a good thing to see. Um, the thing that I didn't like to see is getting where it was and then continuing to sell off there. So um, you can see that this was being manipulated beforehand and is now currently being manipulated even more in order to bring that price down. And it sucks to hear that, but um, that's exactly what's happening. It's not completely dead. It should be around a $30 um, stock at, at normal, but with any hype, it should bring it up 
a lot more and a lot of buying power as well. So like I said, for me, I bought in at $33. Um, I, I believe it was right around here, $33.80. So I'm still holding it at $33.80. Um, and it ended up going down to $27, which I didn't think that as I started to see the um, you know pre-market after or the uh, after hours market, you can see that you did see that increase to $30. Um, it did suck that I could not lower my cost basis because I put more money into other things. Typically, what you should do with any position is put in, let's say, a hundred, but always have some sort in, like, in the back of, you know, in your back pocket or something, so that you can put into it and lower your cost average, or you can put into end up um, buying into and scalping or basically like day trading it in some instances making some money so you can lower that cost average, selling that same amount of shares, and then you can go from there. And that's what I'm hoping you could do. But the problem is, is that I didn't end up doing that. I put money elsewhere. So I took the money into Rocket, put more money into Rocket, and uh, didn't actually have more to put in there. So even now I have money that's going to be deposited into Webull. It's just the problem that I still have to wait no matter what. So uh, when I say Rocket, yeah, uh, looks like a great setup. I still think that they actually have a good setup. Even getting down to this $23 mark, this would have been a great time to get in and get out and lower your cost average. That would have been a huge deal. The, like I said, the problem is I just didn't have the extra cash in Weeble to do that. So as I start to look at this, it did flatten out and actually increase a little bit in the after hours market up to $25.32. Um, do, do, does people think that it, or do people think that it's going to stay there? Um, I actually think that with the down market, that kind of like amplified um, the decrease. I think the decrease should have only been to $30, but with the down market, it, it just amplified it. So uh, you look at every stock that was down, that's the reason why. It's not solely because people are selling off, it's because people don't wanna buy into a bunch of positions, they don't wanna buy into anything at all while the market is down, in my opinion. So Rocket looks, pretty good. Let's look at some of the numbers when it comes to um, interest. So we have um, short volume ratio of 16%. We can look at the short shares available of 650,000, which is not too bad. It was at zero at one point from what I've seen. Um, it does fluctuate from time to time. But then you have the uh, short borrow fee rate of 26.48%, uh, which is, I believe, lower than where it was. But that's still pretty high. That's still something that can squeeze somebody out of a position. I don't think it will push a full squeeze, but you know that it will continue to increase. I believe Rocket Mortgage should be valued a lot more as we start to uh, go through the number of years. It's only 200 shares. So it's something that no matter what throughout time, I can always you know average down. It's not something that's a huge amount. Um, it's only 200 shares. So um, looking at that, what what can I take from this? Is it something that I can look at it and say, is it going to be positive tomorrow? Um, well, or today, I guess, when you're watching this. Um, I would say we have to see exactly what happens in the pre-market. I would hope that we see some sort of a gap up, but who knows if we will still continue with this down market. Um, this is where a lot of people are like, hey, you know, I don't know if I should continue to invest in here. And if people are scared that it is a down market, then it's going to create the... Um, illusion that there's a mass sell-off because nobody's buying right or less people are buying people like me can still be interested in buying and actually um, driving up a price um, or you know day trading in certain positions to be able to make some money right um, but there are a lot of people out there that strictly do it for investing and gaining in the long term and if they see the stock going down is that the true bottom people could say that this 23 dollars mark is the true bottom and we're going to see a massive increase but who knows until we see what exactly happens in the pre-market. Are we going to see a ton of volume come through? Are we going to see a ton of positivity? Are we going to see a gap up? That would be amazing. But let me know exactly what you think. I showed you all the numbers, showed you all the detail, gave you my opinion. Let me know what you think here. Do you believe that Rocket is, is a play? Um, do you believe that they're going to rise up to what point? Where do you think they're going to get to? I know a lot of people are strictly stuck on AMC or GME and um, some of these other positions, and I understand it totally. Uh, but... Uh, let me know what you think about the rocket position realistically. Don't don't come out here and just say, oh, well, you know what? I'm all about AMC. Let me know what you think about rocket. This is why I want to create a discord group and I believe I will. I just need to take some time to actually set things up 
and focus some time to be able to respond there. But uh, that's my video, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, I have free stocks with Webull. If you wanted to get free stocks, click the link, sign up, deposit $100, and you'll get those free stocks. They're actually pushing AMC, so they're going to continue to push it, and hopefully uh, we can get some sort of growth there. Um, also, check out some of my NFTs that are down below. I have uh, three levels of NFTs, Emmy, Emmy stakeholder NFTs, um, and we're going to set that up all nicely. And if you want to trade that like back and forth, I think we should probably do um, maybe a couple. I don't know if we should do like 10. I think we should probably do um, or 20. I think we should probably do like five or 10. And that'll probably be great to to show what level of stakeholder you are, see those things uh, be like more rare as time goes on. Um, because the more you create, the less rare they can actually be. And I think those should be very valuable as you start to look at them. So let me know what you think about the NFTs if you do check them out. But uh, that's my video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.